this is a simple mock-up of the servo belt or dual belt configuration. You can see that the lower belt is attached to the rail with adhesive or tape, and then you have the uh, band, the upper belt, looping around the pulley. And you can see out here that uh, when you have two belts in, they can still uh, accommodate the uh, the uh, the wheel here. But you do not have any room for uh, extra adhesive uh, that takes up space. The first thing I bought was this one, which is a uh, 3M VHB tape. But the problem with that is that it takes up one millimeter, so I couldn't use that. So instead, I bought. So instead, I bought this one, which is very thin tape but the problem is that it's way too broad to the belt so I uh, what I did uh, was the following what I did was to put the tape on all three belts and then afterwards basically just cut it with a sharp uh, knife here and then uh, in order to get it really well uh, adhering to the surface you have to kind of push down uh, with your nail for example in order to secure that the tape is really well fastened to the back side of the, of the belt and then next step is of course to put the belt into the uh, into the rail into the groove and uh, I'll, I'll try to do that now After putting the uh, belt down into the rail, you have to use some pressure, and here I have some coins on the bolt, and then basically roll it up and down in order to secure good uh, adhesion. So now we're ready to make a uh, mock-up of uh, how to mount the uh, carriage. So. We we'll start with having approximately 7 cm overlap here. So you get it into the groove here. 7 cm is sticking out here. And we take the uh, plate and mount it on. And as soon as it's so the second wheel is on, take it up on the spindle or the pulley, down again. And here you apply tension. So as soon as it gets there, you basically have it all set and you are ready to adjust the height of the motor. These are loose. To get the appropriate tension here. And then it's just a matter of adjusting the pulley position so that it is in center. This looks really good. So now we are ready for a little test. The uh, Mark III has been set to 9000 mm per minute as the velocity and 220 for the acceleration. 
so it should be going fairly quickly. Let's see how it works. to hold down the uh, two belts at each, each end of the rail. That's of course not the way to do it in practice. So here's a drawing of how I intend to do it. So you have the uh, groove here with the uh, fixed belt facing up and the dynamic belt facing down, coming up and looping and going out. And you should envision that they will stick out a little bit here. Then you have the end bracket here that uh, holds together the Y and the X uh, on your CNC and then I basically want to make a small piece of aluminum that um, can hold down the um, material or the belts like this so it will be here and basically just holding down on the belts which will be underneath here and I think that should be all we just need you because they are locked together by the um, by the uh, teeth on the belt. So all this uh, should be basically what you need to do.